Kenyan loader in the black cap in lane five. Is there a psychological thing in swimming? In other sports, there's a build-up period where you think you might have got the better of your opponent before you even go out there. Does that occur in swimming? Did that occur that night? With any competition, there's a bit of tactics, but nothing, nothing night, night before. But in the race, um, I know in the race that I had, and, and I'd thought about it so many times as well, visualisation, you know, you lie back in bed and you just, what else is there to do but think about your race, you know? Um, and so I'd, you can't go to the Olympics without at least exploring the idea of trying to win. Now, what would it be like to have that medal around your, around your neck, the weight of it and that? So, of course, you know, I'd thought about it many a time. This is a beautiful swim here. We can, Daniel starting to take control, believe it or not. I really like this swim. He's going to be second at the 100 in a very nice position. Always through the race, I was going, don't you give in. Don't you frickin' give in. Don't count out the Kiwi and then come the last turn. You know, you can see that you're ahead. So that's when everything just hangs out and there's no, there's no technique anymore. You try and keep that technique, but it's trying to get down that, that last 50 and trying to get down there as quickly as possible. Your body's hurting. Ah, my legs were hurting, my shoulders were hurt, hurting, my lungs were hurting, but I'm going to get down there as, far, as fast as I can. So I could see that I was going to do it. Loader in the centre of the pool now. We're going to have an Olympic gold medal here. Daniel Loder going to win this event. Loder wins. Loder wins gold for New Zealand and becomes the first New Zealand swimmer to win an individual gold medal at an Olympics.